How you doing guys? So today I'm coming to you talking about clips. Specifically this Ulti clip that's on this holster for this Glock 48. And why for me, clips are a no-go. Coming right at you. So clips, what is my problem with clips? Um, for years, um, Jaeger said it on repeat that the way to go for a fighting gun and a fighting rig are soft loops, which is what these are right here. So these are made of a, like a plasticized material. There's also leather ones. There's also another company that's making something very similar made out of rubber um, that clips in a little different. This has pull dots on it. But if it's a fighting rig, it needs to be soft loops. Why? Because when you need that rig, you don't want the rig and the holster to come off of your pants and belt. You don't want to be presenting with this. You want to be presenting with your gun. Um, so that's the reason why he always says soft loops, soft loops, soft loops. But there's a company called UltiClip, and they came on the scene with this. And I'm going to get some close-ups of this clip itself and throw them in here. So the idea being is that it's a metal clip and there's a metal hook and it hooks onto your pants, onto your seam of your jeans, uh, the hem of your yoga pants. Um, if you're using an elastic holster, it could maybe hook onto that. And it would give you an option short of wearing a belt all the time. So when I got this Glock 48 for the wife, um, I ordered a holster from Green Force Tactical um, and I asked them to send me an ulti clip with it. And it works very well in her bag that she takes to work and hooking onto the edge of the bag. It also worked very well hooking onto the edge of her pants. But, big but. Through dry practice, I have found that maybe out of 12, 15 times, one or two times, it comes with a holster. The clip does not hold on to the pants. Um, and I get it that I could probably do 100 pulls and be fine, but the reality is is that I fully believe that if Murphy's given a chance, he's going to screw me over. And if it happens more than once, it's a no-go for me. Not for everyday carry. So for me, clips are a no-go, and that's the reason why. Your experience may differ. This is test case of one who's me. Maybe I'm pulling too hard on it. But the reality is, if you're actually in a self-defense situation, your adrenaline is going to be pumping. You're not going to be thinking about how hard you're drawing your gun out of your holster. So this is why I say clips are a no-go for me. Sorry. If I do dry practice and out of 15 draws, two or three times, I get the holster with it, that holster is a no-go. There's nothing wrong with this holster. I still have the soft loop for it, and it'll be mounted on the holster. Um, so for me, right now, as I stand here, the only non-soft loop option is something like the off-body holster that Green Force Tactical makes, the Bob, um, that has a large field of Velcro that hooks into the bag. But for on-person carry, every day, clips are a no-go. That's it, guys. Um, Lend me your thoughts below. Tell me your experiences, how they differ, how they were the same. Interact in the comments below and let's hear your side of it, hear your story, hear what happened for you, or for that matter, what didn't happen for you. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. And remember, your path is out there. Go find it.